Hmm. Lots going on. Yeah, well, we are looking at some snow. It's a pretty good storm, actually. I think verified out fairly well. We go up to Taos. You guys take a look at this camera. We'll put it into motion for you and some good nice. looking shots of the clouds in Taos. Yeah, and the Ski Valley got nine inches of snow out of this as well. So this has definitely been a very good storm. This is another shot, and this looks down into the Moreno Valley where you can see they got quite a bit of snow. And whenever you end up with one of these things we call upslope, Throughout northeastern New Mexico, the Moreno Valley tends to do very well for snow, and that's exactly what happened with this storm. Here's a look at the snowfall numbers. Eagle Nest, another one of those areas in the Moreno Valley, 10 inches. Kowski Valley, 9 inches. Angel Fire, 7. 5 around Tosuke. Los Alamos, 5. And Red River, 4 or 5 inches. So some good news there. The cloud cover now clearing its way out. So that's going to lead to a cold night here across the board, and it has gotten a little bit breezy. 62 degrees in the metro, north-northwest winds at 16, gusting as high as 21 miles an hour. Temperatures 40s and 50s to the north, down to the south, 50s, 60s, and 70s at this point. A look at the satellite and radar shows we are in between weather makers for tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. But what we've got coming up on Friday is another cold front coming in our direction, and that is going to bring the possibility of a couple of showers out there, but more than anything else, more cool air. So a nice day for tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies across the board. Then we drag that front in here from northeast to southwest, especially the east side of the state on Friday. We're going to see temperatures drop significantly. More cool air stays in place through the weekend. Again, if we get a shower or two, northeast, Northern mountains will have a chance to grab that quick shower. Then temperatures slowly rebound over the weekend and into next week as well. But for the most part, over the weekend, we are looking at another nice fall setup here. As far as the showers go, again, I don't want to give you the impression this is going to be a big deal because it isn't. Tomorrow afternoon looks very good. And then into Friday, that's when we could see a couple of showers creep over the state line here. But it's not going to be anything that I'd plan around. It's not going to likely be measurable either for precip. Sunshine, cool temperatures across the board for southern Colorado with temperatures in the 50s and we'll stay mostly sunny through the weekend and then into next week another chance at showers Tuesday into Wednesday. Meanwhile, northwest temperatures here 50s and 60s, mostly sunny skies and cool conditions and staying cool through the weekend. 68 Silver City, 74 in Deming, 72 in TRC, mostly sunny, a mild afternoon by late in the day tomorrow. 76 Carlsbad, 73 in Roswell and Fort Sumner in the low 70s with more sunshine on the way. Up to the northeast, you can see a little bit of a temperature drop here as we get into Friday. That's the front, so we get to 60 tomorrow in Las Vegas, 54 on Friday with that slight chance at a shower. Northern Mountains will have a chance to grab a shower or two by Friday as well, but most areas like Santa Fe and Los Alamos likely just to see a couple more clouds on Friday and a slight dip in temperatures into Saturday. 65 to Harris, 64 in Cedar Crest and 64 in Sandia Park after a start in the 20s and 30s. Finally, right here in the metro, 33 in Berlin, 34 Los Lunas, 38 in Heights, and then warming into the 60s by the afternoon. Extended forecast looks great all the way through the weekend with temperatures eventually in the high 60s as we head into next week. And if you want to share pictures of the snow or see some pretty cool pics, we've gotten a lot of them at KRQE Mark on Twitter. All right, good stuff. Mark, thank you. Sports is next. Stay with us.